Horror Nights, what's happening? It's the middle of May, no announcement, yet you're going crazy on social media posting about doors and sewers. What is going on with Halloween Horror Nights? For those who might not know what I'm talking about and haven't been stalking Halloween Horror Nights social media pages religiously, they've been pretty active on there, posting little teasers for this year's event. No official announcements, no official houses or anything of that nature, just little teasers. And you may think, it's teasers, why are you making a whole video about teasers? Well, that's because within the past week, we've gotten three teasers in a row suggesting something about this year's event. So with this video, I want to break down some of those teasers and just do a deep dive on what Halloween Horror Nights has posted here. But first, before we jump into the teaser specifically, I want to lay out a bit of a timeline as to what we're talking about. On April 4th, we got our first announcement regarding this year's event. We got tickets, we got dates, and we got our first little tease as to what could be in store for us this year. At 9.20 a.m., Universal posted this little video on their social media pages featuring some B-roll from past event years as well as a cryptic clip of this mysterious door. It was a really quick clip and it was really grainy so it was really hard to make out anything but it got the wheels turning in all of our heads as to what this could mean. Fast forward over a month later to May 9th at 10.33 a.m., they drop another teaser regarding this same door. However, alongside the shot of the door, we got the caption, they don't want you to know there's something underneath, and then just a bunch of random letters. So now we see the door, and we see there's something underneath. Underneath where? Well, that question would be answered on May 10th at 12.33 p.m. when they would drop another video. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to make this quick. I followed those sounds, and I think I'm below Universal. Now, if I saw, but I think I saw... Then no one's safe, and it's too late. As you can see in this video, this is a girl kind of sending a message out, telling everybody there's something underneath Universal before getting seemingly caught by Universal Security, or just a mysterious voice. We don't know where that voice is coming from. I'm guessing it's Universal Security. And just today, May 13th, we got another video at 10.33 a.m. Okay, I'm at Universal Studios. I'm hearing weird things coming from this sewer over here. hear that? Did you hear that? This video sees someone going up to a sewer grate somewhere in Universal and picking up some mysterious sounds coming from underneath Universal. So as you could see, all of these teasers seem to build off one another, making me think it's more than just something random. It seems premeditated, and there are a few reasons why I say this. For one, these videos are only posted on Orlando's social media pages. The last time we got a teaser like this last year, the static video, the do not watch video, it was posted on both Universal Hollywood and Orlando's pages. Which makes sense, as it loosely tied into the Scream Squad videos we saw for last year's announcements. However, these are just posted for Orlando. Hollywood hasn't gotten anything regarding the event this year. Now the next thing I want to talk about are the posts themselves and the little details that come with them, whether it's the time they were posted or what they actually say through a video or a caption. There's a reason why I laid out the timeline as specific as I did because if you noticed, there was a little bit of a pattern with the later teasers. All three of the most recent teasers were dropped at either 10.33 a.m. or 12.33 p.m. Universal likes to drop house announcements, really anything regarding HHN at sort of round hour times, so it seems like these 10.33 and 12.33 drops are a nod to HHN 33, strengthening the idea that this is an Orlando exclusive as Hollywood doesn't follow the sort of sequential numbers of Halloween Horror Nights events. And I won't take credit for this, I want to give a big shout out to HHN Jacob on Twitter or X who put this out there and kind of got the wheels turning in my head about the actual times these posts were dropped. Now we only have one caption here as the two videos we saw in the past couple days didn't have any captions attached to them, which reads as a cry for help that is interrupted by whatever lies underneath Universal. My overall read of this is that we're seeing the same event occur through multiple different angles, hence why we got multiple different teasers we first see the post that possibly the girl underground is making with that image and caption. She's trying to expose the secrets of what's underneath Universal before she is found, leading to that second video. 
we then pop up on the main level on the ground of Universal Studios as someone is hearing mysterious noises from the sewers and is filming it in that third video. Really, really interesting. I love how this all kind of ties together, how it's all sort of maybe, maybe creating a fuller story we will explore as we get closer to the event. So the story continues. It is the next day, Tuesday, May 14th, and we got another teaser at 12.33 p.m., a much longer teaser that answers some of the questions we already set up earlier in this video. So let's waste no more time. Let's watch a little bit of this teaser and then break down what we see afterwards. Now, first impressions off of what we see is that I'm really excited for what this could say about the event this year. I'm happy we're getting a video that doesn't necessarily have an announcement attached to it. It's more just like a hype video for Halloween Hornets, which is something I've really wanted them to do in recent years. They haven't done it in quite a while. Really since COVID, they've only done videos for like icon announcements or straight up house announcements. So I'm excited to see something that is more just setting up what could be coming in the next few weeks, few months. It's also worth noting that my assertions of this being an Orlando exclusive are incorrect because this video was posted to both Hollywood and Orlando's pages. So we must look broader and think about what could be applied to both events here. The opening moments of this teaser are very reminiscent to that of Ghostbusters at HHN 29, which featured a team member working in the park after hours, hearing some weird noises and maybe stumbling on something that might be horrifying. We get an extended sequence inside this underground tunnel system underneath the park, and we revisit the door once again. Something I noticed in this section was this little poster that had the Retro Universal Studios logo. Of course, they're diving into Retro Universal this summer, but Ghostbusters had an attraction during Universal at that time, so maybe this has some connection with that, or maybe it's just a cute little Easter egg referencing Retro Universal. Either way, I loved seeing it. As we close in on the door, we see Violet coming from underneath from the crack in the door and once we go behind the door we see what disgusting monstrosity lies within this thing looks disgusting it looks very intricate it's hard to make out what it is but I feel uncomfortable watching it sort of pulsate and vibrate and squelch and all these gross little motions that it's doing it makes it feel like a true living creature or maybe a cocoon for a living creature we see this form open and send a large vibration a large shockwave throughout the park. A crimson thunderstorm arrives in the sky, and in the reflection beneath the arches, we see an alternate arch, a very fleshy, very grotesque representation of the Universal Studios entrance. Now, while we talked about what's going on underneath the park and the door and everything like that, the real new information that I want to break down is what's behind that door. Originally, I thought maybe it could be an icon, maybe Eddie Schmidt, maybe Fear, maybe even Boris Schuster, as he's been rumored to come back to this event. 
but we see what's behind the door and it looks like something else entirely. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, when I saw some of the visual language of this teaser it made me immediately think of Stranger Things. But I'm thinking, no, Stranger Things can't come back, it was just back last year, there's no new material surrounding Stranger Things that can make for another haunted house. However, the vines, and the fleshy form, and the red clouds, and the reflection of the arches are all reminiscent to Vecna, the Upside Down, and Stranger Things. I don't think Stranger Things is coming back to the event this year, I just wanted to point out that it does look eerily similar to that property. To me, I don't think this is indicating anything specific, but something more broad. Maybe this gate doesn't have something to do with an IP specifically, but just the ushering in of what we're going to be seeing for this event. The video is titled Fear Cannot Be Contained, which accompanied the original video when they dropped the tickets and dates. The first time we saw the door, that caption was present, so it looks like they're going to be keeping that in regards to this marketing here. And in the YouTube video, there's the description, the gate has been opened and there's no containing the insatiable evil that will break through from beyond. This is where horror lives. Now this caption may add a little more context to what we're actually seeing here, as it looks like whatever happens within this cocoon is sending a shockwave throughout the park and opening said gate. Maybe this is another dimension, maybe this is another world entirely that lives within our own. So I think this is just a really cool and exciting way to bring in the story for this year. Will we see the Scream Squad again? I'm not too sure, there wasn't really any mention of them or the girl we saw in that previous video. We do see a body underneath this cocoon, maybe that's her body. Or maybe she will reappear in a later teaser as they roll out more announcements. Not sure, but honestly, this teaser has me really, really hyped for the event. With such a gap in time between announcements, it's easy to kind of lose the hype for the event. But whenever they drop something like this, man, it pulls me back in. I know it's going to pull you back in. Get everybody questioning what we see, everybody shooting off their own theories about what they see. And that's what I ask you to do on this video. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think of these teasers, whether it's the old ones or this new one? There's a lot to talk about, so I will be down there in the comments responding to each one of you, throwing around ideas because there's so much going on with this teaser here and the things to come in this announcement season. And if you like videos about Halloween Horror Nights, the past, present, and future updates, theories, things of that nature, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I would truly appreciate it. it would let me know that you like these videos and you want me to make more of them. Announcements should not be that far away, my friends, so stay tuned to the channel because we're going to be talking about any update that comes from Halloween Horror Nights 2024, Halloween Horror Nights 33. I will see you all in the next one. Stay spooky and take care, everybody.